All right, I want to change the background a little bit. I'm not going to remove it. I'm not going to place her into an avatar or a scene from the movie. I'm just going to darken it down a little bit so that she becomes brighter herself and you don't see as much of the background. But I'm not going to paint black. <laughs> a lot of you guys are painting the, your backgrounds completely black. Don't remove your detail from your artwork. Um, all right, we're going to do curves again. New curves layer. Darken a lot again. Inverting the mask. Painting with white with large brushes at 100%. It's okay to go on. For this image, it's okay to fall onto her hair a little bit. Her hair's black, so it's okay if we darken it down a little bit with the background. Again, you can do a better job taking your time on your own time. What I want to do to the background is I want to make it a little darker and uh, enhance some of the color. This background's a little bland looking from the original photograph. I'm just using a uh, brush with zero hardness. That's how I'm able to go over top of all this little, little her little pieces of hair. And I'm not worried about making a selection. I've had a lot of questions about that. I'm not doing any kind of selections with the lasso tool. All right, so I'm putting it back up. Pull my middle down. With curves, as you darken, but you leave um, your white point where it was, you'll, you will enhance color to begin with. It will get more colorful. So I'm just going to darken this down to where I want it. I'm going to control and click on the the mask itself and add a vibrance layer in and uh, crank up the vibrance for that. Give me some deep greens behind her. But now you can see from where we were to where we are now, I didn't paint the background black. I didn't want to remove the background. I think the background is fine. A little color in there. I'll just darken it down a little. Make her look a little bit more like it's night. Um, but I'm leaving something there, just making it less obvious. You'll look at her a lot more. It's easier to focus on the subject when the background's blurry or if it's uh, <clears throat> darker. If you want to blur the background too, you can control click onto that mask you just painted. Go down to your layer uh, where the actual pixels are and hit control J so that it duplicates only that layer. Um, so you can see that's the layer that I just duplicated, just the background layer. And um, make sure you clicked onto that layer. And put your zoom wherever you want your zoom level. Go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And put your blur wherever you want. 15 pixels, whatnot. So I'm just taking the background and making it a little bit softer. I'm not going to do it for this image, so I'm deleting that. So that's all I'm doing to the background on this one, just darken it down and adding some color to it. I think it's enough, does it enough justice.